Call me Mario from the way that I woohoo! Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shadow Force, and today I want to talk about Mario Kart, specifically Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and the uh, Booster Course Pass that is still in the works. Now, when the Booster Course Pack was originally announced, it mentioned that there was going to be 48 courses brought to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as DLC through a, uh, through a total of six waves. So far, we have gotten four waves being released with only two left to go. And then, out of left field, Nintendo decides to add in more characters along with the DLC courses. As a way to represent this, it was Birdo that was brought in to the roster with Wave 4, along with some of the more noticeable courses like Riverside Park from Game Boy Advance, DK Summit from the Wii, and even... Mario Circuit from DS, and Waluigi Stadium from GameCube. But, now that brings the question, what kind of courses are they bringing back for the last two waves, and what characters are going to be joining the roster? Well, let's, over, let's go over some of the possibilities for the characters first, as that would be a little bit easier for me. Now, first thing on my mind, Keep in mind, there is five question mark slots on the character roster after Birdo got released, which means there's going to be five more characters joining the roster. I feel like a guaranteed confirmation is going to be Pauline, as she, after her appearance in Super Mario Odyssey, she had gotten some potential spotlight time in some of the other spin-off Mario games, such as Mario Tennis Aces, Mario Golf Super Rush, and recently, Mario... Uh, Mario Strikers Battle League. So, if Pauline does not get added to this roster, then I don't know who else. Other than that, a potential return to the roster would be Diddy Kong, as the last time he was included in the Mario Kart roster was Mario Kart Wii. And that was the second time he was included in the roster after Mario Kart Double Dash, which was his original Mario Kart debut. So it would make sense that the little monkey man would join the roster once more. Another potential fan favorite for returning to the Mario Kart roster would be Funky Kong. The only time he appeared on the roster was Mario Kart Wii, and everybody loved playing as him from, like, every single time, either at, with the Wave Runner, or, my bad, the Flame Runner uh, bike, but all in all, he was one of the best characters to play as on the Wii. And then another idea that came to my mind, it's completely out of left field, but it could be a potential is for some reason they could add Cranky Kong to the list of the Mario Kart racers because of his recent appearance in the Super Mario Brothers movie as he was a driver. So that could be a potential possibility for someone getting on the roster. Other than that, another idea for me is maybe they could bring... P.D. Piranha back to the roster, as the only times he's ever been on the Mario Kart roster has been Mario Kart Double Dash, which was his one and only main Mario Kart line debut, other than Mario Kart Tour. But other, another character that potentially could make a return to Mario Kart would be Rob. The only time Rob, as his name is stands for Robotic Operating Buddy, the only time he had ever been on the Mario Kart roster was Mario Kart DS. So, I feel like me and a couple of my friends would love the fact that Rob would get a reappearance on the Mario Kart roster. But then, something completely out of left field. As we, as everyone knows, there are other non-Mario characters on the Mario Kart roster as well, such as Link from The Legend of Zelda. You have the Inkling kids from Splatoon, and you also have Villager and Isabel from Animal Crossing. What if, just to make it seem more logical, what if they added Zelda to the roster? Because for if anyone has played Legend of Zelda, uh, was was it called Age of Calamity, uh, something like that? I think it's called Age of Calamity. If you play that game, you 
know the fact that Zelda is able to ride the, was it the master cycle bike, I think, or the, the ancient motorcycle. Some, I don't remember what it was called, but in the original trailer for the first wave of the Age of Calamity DLC, it shows Zelda riding on top of that ancient motorcycle, which makes me think that she could potentially make an appearance in Mario Kart. That's just my guess. That's other than that, I have no idea who else they could potentially bring back to the Mario Kart roster. But for the courses, that's a big thing to go over because when it comes to the Mario Kart courses, there is no 100% guarantee they're going to make a reappearance. So for the ones that I have in mind, I want to go ahead and give off a little bit of a uh, fair warning. First off, there's going to be four, four courses for each uh, system that I think could potentially make a reappearance in Mario Kart 8. But it's only for the Mario Karts that I know best, which means nothing from Super Mario Kart, nothing from Mario Kart Super Circuit from the Game Boy, and nothing from Mario Kart Tour. Super Mario Kart, I love that game to death, but it's been so long since I've played it, so I've forgotten majority of the courses. Uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, as y'all have, as y'all know, because from when I played the Wave 4, and I was on Riverside Park, I mentioned the fact that I've never played Super Circuit, so that one's out of my wheelhouse. Mario Kart Tour, that's out of my wheelhouse too. I've only played it, I only played the game for about a, a week or two, but uh, when it was originally released, but after that, I dropped out. So, all of the other courses, from the N64 up until the 3DS, I have four courses in mind from each one that have a potential to make a return Keep in mind, because there's only six courses left in the two waves, not all of them are obviously going to make a reappearance, but as long as maybe, I don't know, two or three of them making, uh, making a reappearance, then I'm a happy person. So, first on the list, from, the, uh, from Mario Kart 64, my first four choices were Banshee Boardwalk, DK's Jungle Parkway, Wario Stadium, and Bowser's Castle. The reason for those is because Banshee Boardwalk is a fan favorite for me because the first time I ever played it was when I had Mario Kart DS and it was one of the, uh, it was one of the courses in the Lightning Cup. That's one of my personal favorites. DK's Jungle Parkway, that was remade in Mario Kart Wii and it's still a fan favorite for me. The same thing with Bowser's Castle, it was remade on the Wii, but I feel like it, th those courses could potentially get a new, uh, a new vision when it gets remade in Mario Kart 8. For Wario Stadium, however, from N64, that's the only Nintendo 64 course that has never made a reappearance, for God knows why. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they bring it back, but I, I mean, that's just... My speculation, but I highly doubt it's going to happen considering we have more, uh, a Wario Stadium already in the, was it in the Leaf Cup already, and it's from the DS. For Mario Kart Double Dash, however, the courses that I think could potentially make a reappearance, you have Luigi Circuit, I'm thinking Luigi Circuit maybe, DK Mountain, Mushroom City, and Wario Coliseum. I said Luigi Circuit first because obviously at least one or two waves, like at least a wave has to have at least one uh, natural course. Like for instance, Mario Circuit on the DS that was uh, that was brought in for wave four. That's that's a prime example. Luigi Circuit would be another example for that. Mushroom City, mainly because of the fact that Mushroom, uh, we had Mushroom Bridge being remade back for Mario Kart DS, and that was that one. But Mushroom City has never been made a reappearance, and I love that course, despite the Wiggler grams that keep running around the place. 
DK Mountain potentially could make a reappearance, especially considering the new anti -gra the anti gravity mechanic from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, as well as the the DK barrel has high potential, as like considering you have one in uh, Mario Kart Wii for Maple Tree Way, and it as well as like a bunch of other courses, and even DK Summit. Wario Coliseum, however, I mean. As long as that course is, it's still really fun, despite it only being two laps. But all the twists and turns back then was so much fun to navigate. For Mario Kart DS, the courses I have in mind for that one, you have Luigi's Mansion, DK Pass, Airship Fortress, and potentially Bowser's Castle. For Luigi's Mansion, mainly because, obviously, for everyone who has played Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart 7, Luigi's Mansion was a fan favorite for um, pretty much everyone. Because you go inside of the mansion and drive around through the foyer to the basement, and then come out through the graveyard. What else is there to say? Luigi's Mansion fit, actually it fits a perfect Halloween vibe. So if they release Wave Four, uh, if they release Wave Five near Halloween, it could potentially make a reappearance. Now for DK Pass, obviously, we had DK Summit being brought in. DK Pass is a hope that it could potentially be brought back, even though it was originally brought back in Mario Kart Seven. But I'm still hoping it could potentially. It could possibly get remade for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Same thing with Airship Fortress. It was remade for Mario Kart 7, but I want it back again. Because, come on, out of ev I'm sure everyone would agree that if you play Airship Fortress on Mario Kart DS or Mario Kart 7, you're going to love it, especially having to swerve through all those bullet bills after you pass the finish line. And then for Bowser's Castle, obviously, come on, we only have, throughout the entire game of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, even with all the DLC courses, we still only have one Bowser's Castle, and that's the one on the Special Cup. I think it's due time that we get a new Bowser Castle into the roster. And I think the DS one would probably be perfect, especially the spinning bridge portion. The only uh, difference for that one, however, uh, if they were to remake it now, is the little portion near the end where you drive over the floating platforms to get to the finish line. They might remove those and replace those ramps with the glider ramps. So that way you can glide over the lava to the finish line. Now for Mario Kart Wii, obviously the ones that I have in mind first is you have Toad's Factory because... Come on. One of the more popular courses from the Mushroom Cup. Come on. I mean, really? You have Koopa uh you have Koopa Cape because that one is a lot of fun, especially when you uh go down the waterfall into the pipeline. Dry Dry Resort, because I feel like if they brought back Dry Dry My bad, I, I said Dry Dry Desert. Dry Dry Ruins from Mario Kart Wii, because it would fit perfectly with Dry Dry Desert in I think it's the... No, no, no. I think it's Banana Cup. I think I can't remember what cup Dry Dry Desert is. Because the Dry Dry Desert was originally remade as the first four uh, retro courses. So I feel like if they remade Dry Dry uh, Ruins, it would fit in very well. And the last one, obviously, another Bowser's Castle comes to mind. Because... Especially, it mainly because of the beginning of Bowser's Castle, you have the floor waving up and down, which makes me, which first thought comes to my mind is Twisted Mansion, because they have the, flo uh, the, the bouncing carpets in Twisted Mansion when you first start. So they could potentially do that as well. Along with the area where it has the Bowser statue spitting fireballs at you, there's the small little ramps on the side to go over the pits of lava and back on the course. They could, like I said, they could do that as well. I just, 
So far I've listed three Bowser's Castle, N64, DS, and Wii. Those are the only Bowser's Castle that first come to my mind. The coming back, and that's those are the only ones on those, this list. But fingers crossed at least one of the Bowser's Castle comes back. Now, for the 3DS courses, however, there were already a good amount of 3DS courses brought back to uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, even from the original game or DLC. In some of those include Piranha Plant Slide, uh, Grumble... Not, not, I, saw, I almost said Grumble Volcano, that was we. Uh, Piranha Plant Slide, DK Jungle, and... And even Toad Circuit as a basic one. But for this uh, for the 3D cor the 3DS courses in my mind for this one, first off, you have the two Woohoo courses, the ones that are based off of the Wii Fit uh, area. Like you have Woohoo Loop and you have Mako Woohoo. Because that was all based off of the uh, me uh, the Wii Fit Island. Other than that, you they could potentially do Wario Shipyard because you're driving up and down a half-sunken uh, ghost ship. So when you're going up the ship, they could have it changed to anti-gravity, and then you turn down back towards the finish line. And then... God, it's been so long since I've played Mario Kart 7. Other than that, they could do Rosal. I would really love to see them bring back Rosalina's Ice World. Out of all of the 3DS courses, no matter what, Rosalina's Ice World was my personal favorite. Because of how beautiful... How, basically because of how beautiful it was, and how well the soundtrack for Rosalina's Ice World fit with the atmosphere. So I feel like it would work best if they brought it back. And even did a and even remade the soundtrack for that, it would make it so much better. Other than that, I got nothing else. So hey, if you guys think of anything else they could potentially do instead of these courses or characters from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the updates, let me know in the comments down below. And until then, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.